Okay, we are going to download a new viewer. Let's click on this. This is a default viewer, um, version number three. They call it Viewer 2. It's version number 3.1, uh, etc. Um, we want something different. Okay, there are other viewers. There's a beta viewer, which has um, this is the next viewer that will be the default. Right now, it has um, features that they're working on, and they're not that stable, so it is just a beta. Go down to more viewers here. Second Life Wiki includes project viewers and third-party viewers, and the very, very old viewer, 1.23, which is one of the early, earliest looking viewers that we had for Second Life. So what I would suggest for Windows, Linux, or Mac, if we all want to be on the same interface, let's pick Second Life Wiki, and we're going to choose Imprudence as our viewer. Okay, it actually works on Second Life, but it also works on other virtual environments such as OS Grid, you know, using anything using the open access, um, or I should say open source, open simulator. Okay, so here we're going to just go down to the bottom. Okay, we're actually looking for third party viewers, the third party viewer directory. Here we are. Let's scroll down to the table. And here are the viewers, and they work for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Phoenix is a great viewer. Um, I'm going to ask you to all download Imprudence, though. It will be in the same viewer. It should work for Macs and Windows, or it will work for Macs and Windows. Okay, so we'll be at least in the same, using the same user interface. So clicking on there, um, the Imprudence um, page comes up. Now go to downloads here and we should be able to download the software Ooh. I must have increased the size of that let's see here okay so there's Windows Mac Intel only this is a stable version and it says due to known issues playing streaming music Mac users may wish to use this version Okay, so if you're on Windows, um, take this version. If you're on a Mac, um, in order to pay, play streaming music, you may want to take the, the beta version. Okay, they'll be a little bit different. Um, not much. Okay, so anyway, I'm logged in here through Parallel, so I'm virtually on a PC, so I'm going to take the Windows. Um, so I'm just going to take this one here, and I'm going to save that, and it's going to save it to my desktop here. Okay, I can actually And that's finished. Okay, so let's see where it landed. Imprudence, here it is. Okay, so we can see it. Imprudence. Let's hope that loads. It's going to put it into the C drive. Just click Next. I trust it. Don't create a Start Menu folder. Leave that okay. Let's keep going. Install baby. And this is an open source viewer. Um, people participate in the development of this viewer, so they do appreciate your feedback. Okay, next. Run it, run it, yes, please. It's opening the Imprudence web page here. So, to learn more about the viewer or some help, this is, I'm actually going to put that, add it to my favorites so I can come back.
back to that.